Hey guys! What fun is it that records your thingy? Screen! Records your... Oh my god, Thomas! So we're running so late. Hello! Everyone, welcome back to another vlog with me, Seppi, and Sol, and my dad. We literally have like 40 minutes left to our flight. We want a coffee. We won't even make it to the lounge to get a coffee. We're gonna have to buy a coffee en route because it is very, very early. It is, have I said it's 8.05? Ham Safa, Persian family explore Singapore. Are you ready? We're in Heathrow Terminal 4. Have we flown out from Terminal 4 this year? I don't know. Have we flown out from Terminal 4 this year? Did we go to Portugal yeah. from Terminal 4? I keep saying floor. Hello. Hello. Too much energy even though I haven't slept. Everybody's watching me vlog, but I'm used to it now. I want an outfit pick. Why can't I talk? I want an outfit pick. And I want makeup. Oh my god, we're so late. I really don't want a whiskey. So I'm making everyone get coffee because my friend, shout out to you, went to Singapore last month and gave us a sleep schedule. Um, and apparently it's a 16 hour flight. So we have to, it's 9 a.m. now, sleep. No, we have to stay awake on the first flight because it's 9 a.m. here. And then we have to sleep on the second flight because when we get there, it's 9 a.m. in Singapore. Yes. We're on a tr buggy. <laughs> like, how extra? <laughs> Me and the gang have arrived in Doha. Wagwan people. Wagwan. As you can tell. Okay, so. This, the sleep schedule is messed up guys. Basically, I stuck to my friend's schedule. I only slept for an hour and a half out of like the six hours. These two, however, they slept the whole time. They messed up the sleep schedule and they are gonna be jet lagged tomorrow when we arrive at 9 a.m. Basically, we've missed the whole day because we left at 9 a.m. And it's currently evening here. It's like seven o'clock at night or something. So. Yeah, we've missed a whole day. I've got a t-shirt that I want to put on because I feel like I'm sweating. We've arrived in Singapore. Airport. Are we going to put our glasses on? We actually, I did a face mask on. Please, can we say what just happened? Wait, I, I did a face mask on the plane. Like I literally went and washed my face, came out and got a face mask. Is this too big for my face? I don't really know if I like it. I look like a, I look like a bee. This is sinus. I look like a bee. Salt, don't I look like a bee? Okay, so basically, <laughs> basically, um, they have cameras, yeah, that and screen your that face. screen your face whilst you're walking out of the and plane to to detect your temperature, and anyone who looks a bit hot, they screen and <laughs> they screen Saul. And I was like, imagine Saul gets quarantined on Christmas Day. How tragic! Wow, this face mask really hydrated my skin. It's the aloe vera. Sephora sheet mask. Also, Merry Christmas guys, it is the 25th. I don't know if you can see. It is 9 a.m. here in Singa. I just can't wait to strip off all this, shower and then jump in a pool. Look at all these Christmas decors. I made Sol watch Crazy Rich Asians on the plane. <laughs> And now she's just so excited. I've read. I was excited before. Right? I've read the first book, so it's like three parts in the book or something. I've read the first one and I've watched the movie, and I freaking love it. And I booked this holiday after watching the movie, so I guess maybe there was some influence there. What are you drinking? It's lovely. <laughs> I still don't feel like it's Christmas. 
You know, I think once you get you. I want to go to the pool. I want to have a Christmas dip. I look so rough. You look beautiful. I look rough. This is our breakfast. Noodles. Joy ham and khali. So the food is so good. It's so cute how they have like little Christmassy like reindeer decorations. So the lift is so cool because when you tap, someone asks you if there's anything you need help with. Just press two, one second. So that's like a little sky bridge they call it. So we're doing a little, we're doing a little tour. So I've just come out of the shower, I've washed my body but we're going to go swimming so I thought I'd quickly show you guys a tour of mine and Sol's room. I'm not sure if I've mentioned but we are staying at the Marriott. I picked the hotel, I spent ages looking for it and doing all the research for it and I'm the one who picked it so I felt really responsible that if the family don't like it, well if my dad and Sol don't like it, I felt really responsible but they love it, it is beautiful. So this is mine and Sol's room. So. That's the door where you first walk in. That's a closet. And then this is the bathroom. So that's a bathtub. This is the sink and like you can see through into the room, which is so beautiful. And then on this side, we've got the toilet and the toilet is so cool, it's electric. So when you walk in, it like automatically opens. And then the shower just gives me like goals from like my house it's like all the way up and just really pretty and then this is me and then we come out into the bedroom and then there's a bed for Sol, a bed for me and this beautiful sofa we're on the fifth floor overlooking the city and and that looks back into the bathroom again and this is me again so i'm gonna go down for a christmas day swim and you guys are coming too so we're just gonna go um they upgraded my dad to this executive lounge thing they have them all around the Marriott's around the world. So if any of you guys travel a lot and you stay at the same hotel or you have like a lot of you, like a lot of rooms at one hotel, I recommend, you know, getting them to upgrade you to this. I don't know how it works. <laughs> but it's really cool because it's got so much food and stuff. Look at this. This is called Pue. And this one has peanut butter. It's like a thick pancake with peanut butter. You look very nice. We are in the shopping mall close to our hotel. We show my outfit. Yeah. We just zoom daddy taking a selfie, please. I can't zoom in and he looks so cute. He's trying to look. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sabi, you look beautiful. So we're on Orchard Road, which I don't know if you guys have watched Crazy Rich Asians, but really famous. Wow, look at those apartment blocks. Let me try and do a zoom. Wow.
So we've come for a nighttime walk and it's a shame that my camera doesn't capture just how beautiful the city is. I say nighttime walk as in we're going for dinner, but we have decided to walk to dinner because the weather is so beautiful. We're lost. So we're at the street food market that was in the movie Crazy Rich Asians. So each stall like specializes in one thing. It's really cool. Like the stall at the front only really does like juice. It's really cool. Look at this satay dish from a satay store, prawn dish from a prawn store, I mean, bok choy from a bok store. And then this is um, like a pancakey thing with mutton in the middle and curry. We are gonna have the coolest Christmas dinner ever. No? Yeah, we have a few more dishes coming as well. So this is South Beach Avenue shopping mall and our hotel is there but like the entrance is to the other side and look there's like a train station it's like such a central place the marina is such a central place the place that we just went to eat I don't know what it's called hold on I'll tell you so what was the name of the place we just went to eat Sutra. Glutens Bay. Oh yeah, Glut Glutens Bay. Oh, I, I, we don't know how to pronounce it, but I think that's, I butchered it. Yeah, we really oh. did. But that's where we went oh. to eat now, and the food, the street food, it was so yummy. Have a food, baby, and now we've come back um, to our hotel. But yeah, so that Glutens Bay is right next to the marina, and the marina is like a really central place. I think the two like central places, from what we've discovered today. It's probably Orchard Road and Marina. So, whereas Orchard Road is like, how can I say? It's like Champs Elysees, New Bond Street, Regent Street, if you on steroids. Food. Like, oh, <laughs> literally, yeah, so true. much better. Hello. He's talking to his wife. Good morning. It is Boxing Day. Are we going to the Boxing Day sales? It's a solid no. Actually, wait, do you know there's Boxing Day sales probably here in Singapore? Everywhere was open on Christmas. How cool. You guys saw Orchard Street. It was literally beautiful. It was, like I said last night, it was like all the best shopping roads in the world on steroids. Like it was so good. And, um. Can you put some shoes on? Come. Yeah, I'm gonna put my shoes on. My shoes down here. Let's take care of this one. Okay, breakfast time. I don't know what I want, but sure is a lot to pick from. He looks so weird to the average person. <laughs> Look how clean like the platforms are, guys. Looks like the Jubilee line. Nah. Yeah, Jubilee line near like Mary Wharf looks this way. We need places like this in London. Look at this. So right now we got off the train and we are at harbour front which is literally a boardwalk away from Sentosa and that is Sentosa over there is Sentosa Sentosa is like the island of the island I don't know if that even makes sense like 
that's what I understand it to be and it's got like the beach and you can sunbathe there and it's got like all sorts of other stuff to see we'll see it together and this shopping center here is insane like the shopping in this country is incredible everything is just so beautiful so clean such a all the best shops of all the like countries like they've got Marks and Spencer but then they've also got like all the designer brands like it's just all the best of all the countries like all the American brands all the English brands or all, all the brands that you can't get all in one country you have all here it's amazing he's trying to convince us to buy more suitcases if you guys watch my vlogs you'll know my dad is obsessed with suitcases oh, it's so nice and warm it's 31 degrees on that side of the boardwalk is Sentosa <laughs> So there's a telly cabin and we want to go and ride on that. Wouldn't that be fun? We're about to ride these cable cars. Are you nervous? Uh, no, actually. I'm, I'm excited. Secure enough. And I'm petrified of heights. So it's very uh, Let's see how it goes. Literally the prettiest view I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, so we found the beach, Sentosa's beach. This one is called Palawan Beach. So we're back in the tiny cabins. Wow, you would not think Hi. I have sunbathed and sweated in 31 degrees heat Hi. for like hours. But we're back in the telecabins. Is it not called the cable? Mm -hmm. Cable car, sorry. Yeah. So, we've come for dinner. He recognises the place Good to serve. It's called Clark Key and it's full of restaurants. Good morning, it is the next day and we have come to lie by the pool. Our hotel has pools on two floors so on the fourth no this is the sixth floor and also on the 18th floor the 18th floor is like an infinity pool but it doesn't have like a place to sunbathe but this fourth floor one you can sunbathe so we come to the sorry sixth floor we come to the sixth floor one and yeah we're just gonna chill by the pool I'm wearing this way I'll show you guys I'm wearing my dad's shirt over it um because it's just linen and comfortable Sol's asleep, jet lag. I was up till four and then I slept, so slept till four and woke up, so it's a bit stupid. So this is my bikini. I got it in summer from House of CB. <laughs> more juice, more juice. <laughs> too much juice. Too much juice. She can't regret that, so too much juice, too much juice. So we are on our way to Orchard Road and so the concierge was just giving us great advice. He told us to try McSpicy Burger. Yes. So we are going so to have a McSpicy Burger. Je suis très excited. Age. Age and Nana. Thank you. 
<laughs> so this is the ION Mall, ION Mall, and it is so beautiful. We're here at McDonald's and we're gonna try the McSpicy Burger. So, what are we gonna try? McSpicy. Are you spicy? Spicy like me. So we ordered a, a Coke, yeah? I don't know how to show you. But I show how big this is. This is my hand. <laughs> Look, it looks... This it, is my hand. <laughs> we ordered a large Coke. Yeah, let's just say... This is a small Sprite. This is a small Sprite and the small is like the London large. And then let's show them what the chicken mixed spicy like looks like. Should we call Daddy trying it? Come yes, try give it. a taste test, show us. <laughs> My dad eat McDonald's in like 15 years, so. Is it nice? Is it better? Yeah, like is it better than normal McDonald's? So I want to see. Oh my God, in London, I've been It's better than London. But my dad hasn't had McDonald's in years. So what do you think? Was it worth it? Was it worth the hype? Uh, it's my the love child of a chicken royale from Burger King and yeah, chicken royale from Burger King and if the Zinger burger were to have a baby this was it. Oh wow. So I like the look spicy. It's the chicken itself that's spicy, like it's got like the batter has like a black pepper or something in that. Like in that sense, I don't know. This is McDonald's. It's like on top of a cinema in a shopping mall. Oh, my mouth is kind of burning, no? So this is yet another shopping mall on the Orchard Road. It is all just filled with designer shopping malls and it's like the most beautiful malls you've ever seen. Between this one, if they call it this one, number one, and number two, huge gap. Yeah. For example, if you call number two in Paris, yeah, it's true. No, but he's saying if this, if oh, th this is huge. number one, and there's a huge gap between one and two. We've come for dinner um, in Arab Street and Haji Lane. So. Uh, no. No. From somewhere else. Um, so we're literally walking and trying to pick somewhere. But this road is so pretty. It's all hi. It's all good, thank you. It's all so pretty. Today it's hungry. It's trying to pick something to eat. while we have breakfast and then we are going to Chinatown um, but basically you want to say a weird fact so this is my breakfast and I'm obsessed with the milk here the the milk here is probably the best milk I've had in my life so weird fact but try the milk when you're here I'm having hot milk with cocoa pops what are you eating <laughs> show them it's a blueberry bagel with cream cheese and smoked salmon. Ooh. <laughs> Please look at how fresh my dad is. What I can What I can So let's show you. 
بلند کنیم من نمیشنم صداش تو بلند کنیم این میگی به من گوش ندیم به این میگی آبروه بلند کنیم من نمیشنم He's so fresh He's playing his own tunes بسه مامی دینه پرسته بسه مامی پرسته دی بسه نشتینه آخه من تا دیگه خودم نمیشه آخه نمیشه آبرو ریزی وقتی یه بلاگ دوربین نیستش میکنیم وقتی بلاگ میکنم آبرو ریزی قط میکنه چرا ما همیلیم بذارین یه دقیقه دیگه نتفر خود بری که جوی خلبه آره تا موقع برش مهم نبود قطار برو I think this is China town but we're not too sure like we're not sure basically but I hope I'm not showing you guys the wrong thing but it's all still very beautiful and like it's kind of old if you look at the buildings like it's like they've kept like the old style buildings found it Chinatown street market wow this is cool پدر اینه مارکتش خب اول مارکتش رو بریم Oh my god look at this That's so cool So we've just got to gardens by the bay Wow پشتتون this area is all so pretty and it's all underneath the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Wow, look, there's a bridge up there you can walk on. That was insane. Oh, this is Gardens by the Bay, all of here, we're, what we're inside of. And this building behind it is the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. It was like a really famous hotel, it's probably the most famous hotel here in Singapore and yeah, it's very beautiful. is the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. A pond thing. So I didn't record our dinner just because there's some stuff I like to do without recording. But yeah, we just finished our dinner at the Marina Bay Sands in a restaurant called, is it Spaglini? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's in Tower 2 and it's on top of the tower. These are all rooms. Those are like walkways. More rooms. Me personally, with hotels like this, I love to come and visit them. But to stay in them, I don't love because I feel like A, they're so big. Like this is huge, you know? That like you kind of get lost. Like there's no personalness to it, like no personal service. Whereas we know like the concierge at our hotel so well. Like you want to feel like you're kind of not just one in a thousands of guests. And also, secondly, um, I don't like so many people from outside coming into my hotel. Like, when your hotel itself is a tourist attraction, I don't love it. Like, Atlantis, the palm in Dubai it itself is a tourist attraction. So, you get so many people from outside coming into your hotel. And it's like, I don't know. I just, I feel like if you're there, you want to relax. You don't, you don't want it to be overcrowded. And with here, I feel like it's definitely overcrowded but it's beautiful like when you're here come and visit it i don't know me personally i wouldn't love to stay here <laughs> hey guys so it is our last day it is currently the evening we just had food i had a, another shopping center in orchard i had this like wagyu burger with truffle fries and parmesan it was so good and then these two wanted to have burger king so I came with them and I had a bite of my dad's burger. When I tell you it was the best burger I've ever had in my life, like I'm not understating it. Pera, chera, hubu It was one of the best, best burger I had in my life. Yeah. If was... I won't remember, once I'm very hungry and I won't 
to remember something very nice, very good, I should remember this burger. Yeah, so it was the Burger very King's nice. Burger King Swiss Mushroom Angus Burger. I think of, basically had Swiss cheese, mushroom and Aberdeen Angus beef burger. Very good. Nice. But yeah, this is my outfit today. Kind of casual. Um, I didn't really vlog today. Something not good happened back home, which I don't really want to talk about. But we weren't really in the mood for vlogging. Like we just wanted to enjoy our time ourselves. So yeah, it's our last day, but we absolutely love the city. We just came. I went to the church in the morning. It was so beautiful. Um, the church was really close to our hotel. Uh, and then I went with my dad and then we came to we walked to by the quay there's loads of keys like it's basically you walk by the river we walked by the river and then we walked to orchard and ate and chilled and now it's like 7 30 at night we're gonna head back to our hotel for like cocktails and just have a really chilled night really chilled last night before we head back to London in the morning but overall, I think this has been like one of the best holidays I've ever been on in my life. You guys, aren't you gonna miss this weather when we're back yeah. in like one degrees? Ugh. I think the evenings, like right now, I think that the weather's like 24, 25 degrees. Now for that. Yes. And then. No, it's more, Seppi. 27, 28? Something like that. Let me. I think it's 28 degrees at night at least, and then in the day it's like 33 degrees. The weather is beautiful, and I wasn't gonna say it, but now that our trip is basically done, I'm gonna say it. The weather report reported rain every single day for us being here, and there has not only has there not been a single drop of rain, but we've had. We have a tan, we had sunny days. We had more sunny days than we had cloudy days. So yeah, we were so lucky. So don't trust the weather reports because the weather reports were... Yeah, so the weather reports for Thailand, Malaysia and Singapore are always wrong from my personal experience of traveling to these countries. It always says thunderstorm because there's always clouds and they can't pick up the, like, I think because of where it's situated. Sinus is... So, yeah, Sina says the same from Maldives as well. I don't know how to explain it. Sina knows how to explain it, but she's not here. But yeah, like the, because of way, the way the clouds are or something, you can't actually like detect the weather well. So it said that it's gonna like have thunderstorms and raining. So we were like, we were kind of nervous. We did not expect we'd get a tan, but the weather has been perfect. Like just like Malaysia's weather, I would say. Like Langkawi weather, Kuala Lumpur weather. In summer. Here we are back in Singapore airport. My battery is running out and we are at the end of the holiday. We have had an amazing trip, like incredible. I've loved the city. I will definitely be coming back and I don't know what else I could say more than like I highly recommend it. The food, the people, the atmosphere, the how clean it is. There's not much we could complain or say bad about this country. Right, Sol? Love them. We Amazing. absolutely love it. We've lost our love somewhere. He's found Hennessy. He's found Hennessy. Um, but yeah, I would like to end the vlog here. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below for more vlogs and fun. And don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked in the description. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny. And my Snap is Sefi Samai. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for joining me on this holiday. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.